Hello, everyone. We wish you all good health and thank you for having us. I am Siwi, along with my two friends, will be presenting our final project. First, let me introduce us. We are from Team 1, uh, from the Information System Department of Binus University Online Learning. There are three of us here, uh, me, Siwi, uh, Xiao Ching, and the other one is Didi. We have Mrs. Dina Fitria Murat as our advisor on board. In this occasion, uh, we would also uh, we would like to thank you to TK.com who allows us to conduct research involving their employees. And here in this event, we will present our final project titled Using User Experience Analysis on TK.com Knowledge Management System DAISY using the User Experience Questionnaire or UAQ method. Without further ado, let's start from the big background of this project. We all know that the knowledge management system plays a very important role in a company, especially those with a large number of employees. And here, our recent subject, PT Global Ticket Network or Ticket.com, is a global company with over 1,000 employees spread it in many countries. To manage its knowledge management, Ticket.com has a platform that they call as DAISY, as a short of a digital information repository. It contains information related to the company and the employees, such as policies, procedures, as well as a learning management platform. As you can see, this is how DAISY looks like, and it can only access uh, can only be accessed through Google Sign On that is connected to the company email. DAISY was built on a Google site platform with a lot of limitation here and there. So next slide. Uh, here's our thinking path when we do this research. We know that knowledge management system is one of the most important asset in the company, especially the global one like Ticket.com. Knowing the importance of a knowledge management system, we created an initial interview with some chosen DC users. From the research, we found that uh, some uh, interesting findings that brought us to the conclusion that we need to analyze this platform user satisfaction level. The next slide about the methodology will be explained by my friend Didi. Didi, please. Hello, I'm Didi. I'm explaining about our research challenge and, methodolog and methodology. The challenge is to measure the level of user satisfaction by measuring both classical usability aspect, that is efficiency, perspicuity, and dependability, and user experience aspect, names, uh, attractiveness, stimulation, and novelty. And as we want to analyze the, the user experience, we are using the user experience questionnaire or UAQ method. UAQ consists of six scales and has 26 questions and was distribute, uh, distributed to ticket.com employees, both to the Indonesians and overseas one. During the research, we are using this framework. Start with problem identification, territory view, both online and offline. The next step was determining samples, followed by data collection and data analysis. From the analysis, we found some suggestions and recommendations and also conclusions to our research object. The next slide uh, about research will uh, about research result will be explained by Xiao Qing. Hello everyone, I am Xiao Qing. This is our analysis research from the questionnaire that got around 252 respondents in two weeks questionnaire distribution. From the calculation and analysis, we found that from that six aspect, only one aspect show a good number. There is dependability. 
with a value of 1,119 or positive value. You can see from the graphic, it is also the highest value compared to the other aspect. It means that the company thinks that the platform is something they can depend on. But unfortunately, the other aspects are not showing a good result. Two conclusions can be drawn here. The result of the DAC evaluation using UAQ, dependability aspect get the highest score, while perspicuity gets the lower score. And the other aspects show just the lower scores. Hence, we can conclude that there are a lot of improvement needed from, the, from this platform in order to make it much better platform for everyone in the company. And then for the improvement part, it will be explained by CV. Thank you, Xiao Ching. I will continue from here. Uh, from the conclusion of the result, we need to do some improvements in order to make DC be a lot better than the previous version. The improvements mainly are in the area of attractiveness. Previously, some DC users thought that DC was an easy to understand, boring, unattractive, complicated navigation, impractical, and confusing. And you can see uh, in the improved design, it is already provided with a search direction and the category button is equipped with an explanation of its content. The new design promotes clarity and easier navigation for the user. So that is expected to make the contents easier to understand as well. Next slide. And if we expand it to the content page, the improved design displayed the content in a drop down instead of messy display of icons, just like the old version. With these improvements, we are hoping more people will use DAC and it can be a greater benefit for the company. That would be all from us. Uh, any question regarding this research, you may email us at siwi.rahayu at binus.ac.id. And thank you for staying until now. Stay healthy and bye-bye. Bye-bye.